Hi from Nona Designs. I wanted to show you what uh, you might be able to do as a quick fix if one of your bracelets becomes stretched out. This doesn't normally happen. I prime these really well when I make them, but um, my daughter came home recently. She had gotten hers caught while she was playing basketball <laughs> and uh, stretched out quite a bit of the cord. She wears hers all the time and uh, I was pleased that it didn't break. But it's, it is elastic. They will stretch out um, over time, especially if you wear it a lot and are busy. So here's what you can do. Uh, you might locate a lock bead along the strand first. And that's the bead that I glue a little knot into when I finish the piece. And that'll give you a good handhold. And once you find that, you can stretch all the beads very gently and snugly against each other to, you know, to reveal that strand that's part of the stretch cord that um, is is um, out of shape. Um, once you do that, tie a knot as close to the beads as you can and you can use the lock bead as your anchor. That makes it a little easier. And slide the knot down against the beads. Um, you've created a loop and you can pull the loop apart and pull each side gently again to get that knot as close to the beads as possible. And once you've done that, you can cut the cord at the top of the loop. And now you have two tails. And then start tying more knots. I like square knots to give some tension to the, to the cord and keep it from unraveling. And I do three or four knots and then I dab it with a little bit of jeweler's glue, which is meant to dry so it's flexible with the piece. If you don't have that, you can use nail polish, but that dries kind of brittle uh, over time. But this is just a quick fix and a way to get some more life out of your bracelet. So um, then cut after you've glued the tails. Leave a little bit behind. Don't cut too close to your knot. And if there's a bead next to the knot with a large hole, try to sort of gently tug the knot into that bead and that'll hide it and make for a neater, nicer piece. If you don't, uh, then the cord is clear and it, you know, it'll show a little bit, but this is just a quick fix. You know, contact me if you really want to revive your piece and we can work something out. Uh, but once you've done this, you let the glue dry and you have a nice uh, refreshed bracelet or necklace and it's ready to go to your next basketball game or wherever. And uh, you can hopefully get a little more life out of it. Thanks for visiting. Hope this helped. Bye now.